Okay guys, so I thought I'd do a bit of an update. Not done a video for quite a while. Uh, just been really busy with work and what have you. So I thought I'd do a uh, bit of a home setup video. And as you can see, we've got some new additions to the pack. Uh, now people who've been on my channel for quite a while will know that I'm predominantly a Skyman. Um, but the tables have turned. As you can see, that is a uh, Virgin Media box for those people who, who live in the UK. Um, but I'll explain why it's come to that. So... Uh, recently in the last year I moved to the city of the south which is called Exeter um, which is um, in Devon so I work full time so I don't really get a lot of time to myself um, but recently I thought I could do with nice fast broadband um, and we're looking at the various options now as you can see here in the wall uh, there is already a Sky connection available so I could have had Sky um, but then I thought, what do I actually need? I don't really watch a great deal of telly, but don't get me wrong, it's nice to have. But I'd rather have the fast internet and watch Netflix, etc., etc. Now, Virgin Media is by far faster than you know traditional broadband, so I thought I'll go for that. I looked on the web, and there was a pretty good deal at the time. It's like thirty uh, twenty nine ninety nine um, for the TV package, phone, and the uh, the broadband there. So let's walk through what i've got so we have got and you obviously have to excuse the dust it's very dusty um virgin box there tivo um very good bit of kit actually i've um, got a one terabyte hard drive in there so plenty of storage um you can record up to six things at once which is mind-blowing um and yeah it's a nice bit of kit don't get me wrong it's a bit strange compared to sky i'll show you the menus in just a moment but obviously, it's a very diddy box. I mean, you can see the comparison. Original PlayStation 4 there. And obviously, that box there. This is obviously quite a, bit, <clears throat> a decent bit of kit. I've used Virgin before. I won't lie. I didn't enjoy it in the past. Uh, but that was many, many years ago. They've come a long way since then. And works pretty well, to be fair. <clears throat> now, the router itself comes there. This is the Super Hub, it's called. Super Hub 3, I believe. Uh, and yeah, and you know what? I won't lie, so far so good. I'll give you a bit of a show around what's what. I mean, as you know, I don't really rate ISP routers very highly, but actually, this is really good. Um, obviously, all the latest standards inside, wireless AC, WPS, as you can see. Very minimal design. No lights, only just the one there. There is actually some lights behind here, but they only show um, when the router is actually booting itself. Looking around the router, just holes. Looking at here, now as you can see, you can put a little red pull out here, pull that out, and it reveals your password and what have you for your, your Wi Fi. So if you keep it at the default values and it's shipped, that's obviously what it will be. Um, I always change mine, um, just I just prefer it, I know what the passwords are then. There is also on the bottom tells you your Wi-Fi password and your actual admin password. Um, if you want to get in there and change some settings, you will need the admin password there. You want to set your own Wi-Fi, for example. Um, Temperature-wise, very cool um, compared to one of the, like the Sky one, it used to get very hot. This is absolutely no problems at all. I'll um, I'll quickly spin it around. I'm just going to take one of the Ethernet cables out because it's a bit tight, just to show you. Now. The cables itself actually, are, it's a really simple concept, actually it's really helpful. So, plug-in cable there, obviously these, so the Virgin Media doesn't use telephony networks like BT, Sky, Talk, Talk and what have you. Um, they own the cable service here in the United Kingdom. Um, it used to be somebody called Telewest Broadband and there's, there's so many different ones back in the day it used to be called. Um, I think it was Telewest, I can't, I'm not 100% but I think it was. So many different things it was, but this is what it is. Um, it uses DOCSIS cables, so nice and quick. Um, Speed-wise, it goes in different kinds of speed settings. I've got the basic speed, which is 100 meg. So I get about 110 megabits per second down and 10 megabits per second up, which is still absolutely fantastic. So I'll take that cable out as well. So looking around, obviously different wise. Obviously, you've got your power here with a little on and off switch there, which is pretty nice. You've obviously got your cable input there reset button there if you ever need it this is the ethernet cable which actually comes built into the cable um which is pretty cool this is the default cable you'll get when you sign up to virgin media so it kind of combines the two cables into one 
really nice nice simple it's very simple design but it actually works really well and obviously you've got your four uh, ports on the back there um obviously it just blinks when there's activity stay solid when there isn't um and then obviously you've got your telephone inputs there so unlike normal broadband routers obviously this uh, provides the telephone connection um, the only downside to this is if there's a power cut unless you've got this attached to a UPS then you will obviously use your landline phone as well I really couldn't care because I don't use it um, so like I said that's pretty much the router itself really really simple to get plugged in um, not see it over there um, and yeah it works really well so this is the setup I've got so I live in a house share in Exeter um, and one of the cables I've got coming in was this one here um, which is the obviously the Doxis cable uh, that runs round the room um, to the outside of the building to the street where obviously it meets the telephone uh, the Virgin Media network um, so I thought really simple I signed up to Virgin Media and they just sent me the box basically of all the bits in to basically do a self install it is was that simple so as you can see I've obviously got one input, which is this main cable. So this is going to the street. And then obviously then it splits off to the TV, which is obviously the TV box and obviously the broadband. Um, and as you can see here, it's a really simple design. Um, obviously you've got two cables going to different devices. And this here is just an ethernet, a long, thin ethernet cable, which is looped to keep it together. Um, so little touches like that are quite nice. Um, power bricks, they both use power bricks. So you can see a little bit like laptop chargers, so that's for the router there. And obviously I've got the TV one just hidden underneath the TV stand. Um, and yeah, it works really well. Um, the app's pretty good. There's a Virgin Media app. Uh, there's a Virgin Media Connect app as well for the iPhone and Android. Just shows you who's connected. Uh, one of the good things I like about the Virgin Media River is actually the guest mode. So you can have two different Wi-Fi broadcasters. Uh, I've got one which is the default name, but I've changed the password. And then I have a shared wi-fi that i share with my uh, fellow housemates there so they are on two different networks just keeps things a bit more secure so they can't see everything that i'm connected to so they can't see for example my nas that i'm connected to on my side of the wi-fi network because they are effectively their own network um so that's pretty good uh the box itself obviously pretty decent connections wise on the back i won't spin the box around because it's, it's not that interesting but basically obviously your standard inputs hdmi uh, again, power on and off button. Um, you've got these two buttons here, which obviously do your, your, your channels and obviously your on button there. Uh, the remote is Bluetooth, which is nice. So if you wanted to hide this box, then you can. Um, the remote itself, pretty good. We've got this one here now. It's quite considerably different from the Sky setup. Obviously, the basics are pretty much there, like you, you know, obviously play, pause, or whatever. Some of the good things that I like about the Virgin Media service is. So you've got a voting little system here, so if you've watched a TV programme you quite like, give it a thumbs up and then it'll suggest things in the future, um, which is pretty nice. Um, so what we'll do, we're just going to turn this on very quickly and we'll just show you what's what, a bit of a basic overview. And then if we want to do another video in the future, um, we can do that. So let's turn my TV on. And then what I'll do in a second um, is just show you a speed test result there. Uh, on the PlayStation 4, but yeah, I'm getting very consistent setup, which is good. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly put that on mute so I don't get uh, a mark. So this is the Virgin Media setup. Obviously you've got TV guide here. Very different from Sky, but one of the things I do like, you can obviously browse your channels on the left. So if we get to ITV, for example, and then we can jump down and see the times which is nice and again just like sky you can record put it on a series link um etc etc so there is a lot of similarities but obviously just runs on a completely different network um so what we'll do is we'll just chuck the ps4 on now and get a speed test result um we'll just have to wire these ethernets back in and obviously if you needed more ethernet ports you can obviously just buy yourself a switch um, but four for me um, works fine don't need any more at present so there in there let's go for this um and like i said i can have all 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 of the people of my in house on it at any one time so that's normally about six people um and the speed is still very very good so let's go for, here we go 
there we go so look 99 just off do it again it'll probably just tip over to 100 so that my default connection is 100 megabits per second down and 10 up it does fluctuate a little bit mostly in your favor uh, but yeah all good uh, so yeah the experience has been pretty good so far um, I do prefer the Virgin Media internet I could upgrade uh, and get even faster uh, internet but that to be honest is absolutely fine for me as I'm not doing anything permanent um, $29.99 will do me absolutely fine uh, when I do eventually get it at my own place for a more permanent address um, I'll probably will stay with Virgin Media because it's pretty cheap for what it is um, and more importantly the internet's probably the fastest you'll probably get in the UK the cable network tends to be a lot quicker and more stable um, and the, the router actually is, is very good to be fair um, I have no complaints so far. Um, good thing with this is also they have a, what they call a modem mode. So if you put it in modem mode, it'll knock obviously all the Wi-Fi activity off. Um, and then obviously allow you to hook up your own uh, wireless access point there. So if I was to get a home, probably kit it out with the Ubiquiti kit and stuff like that. So yeah, that's my Virgin Media setup there. If you've got any questions, guys, please let me know. Um, and if you want any more reviews, let me know.